Hey YouTube, this is Phil Armstrong, aka J Signal. Uh, I had a dream this morning, um, September 1st, uh, 2011. And that dream, according to uh, the title, was about Damascus being destroyed. Uh, there was no physical signs on the dream. I, I had not had a dream since... I probably had one dream this year that I can actually remember. Um, I'm not a prophet, uh, but in the Bible it talks about, you, you know, young men should dream dreams, and man, old men should see vi visions, or vice versa. Anyway, um, I, the dream was about, because I used to be stationed in uh, Oklahoma, and we went overseas, and I used to talk to them about Bible prophecy, and, uh, I remember the last time I was talking to some about uh, something was I was uh, in Louisiana. I was always stationed in Oklahoma. We won a deployment in Louisiana, and this was uh, before 9-11. So the day of 9-11, I was uh, on the work site, and I guess we had lunch break or something, and I was talking to a whole bunch of people, and they was asking me, where's the United States? And I told them that... Uh, there's a good chance the United States will be attacked and it could be the Twin Towers and blah, 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 blah. <coughs> and then five minutes later, somebody called us over there and said, uh, the Twin Towers has been attacked. So people's mouth was like, but most of the time they kind of rationalized it away and it didn't even count because they just rationalized it away. They just felt it really didn't happen. Phil Armstrong did not, did not tell us this stuff before it happened. It's impossible. <laughs> so, um, I don't hardly have dreams. Uh, the last uh, time, way before that, uh, I had a dream of Daniel chapter 2 before it happened. I was homeless and I was uh, and sleeping in the you know, old buildings that I used to be stationed at. And I had a dream and I uh, woke up and I asked God what did that dream mean? He said it, it meant climax. You're going to be here at the time. And he slothfully told me that I would be here at the end times uh, to see these things come to fruition. But getting back to the Damascus dream, there was no explosions. Damascus, and I didn't see it, but it was so, it was the, the, like the MPs or something driving around telling us uh, Damascus has just been blown up. Get in, get in the vehicles. We have to go back to the base, and it was kind of weird. It was just a weird dream. You know, the same some of the same people that I used to tell it was in that dream, and it's September first, and a lot of y'all out there know what September could bring. Um, and we don't know. We have to stand by. We have to really stand by, but. Uh, Jesus uh, paved the way for our sins out there, and um, he's the only way to God. Uh, there's no way to, it's, and 1 Timothy 2, 5 says there's one mediator between God and man, that is Jesus Christ. Um, we need a daily walk with Christ rather than uh, sometime walk with Christ. Uh, we go to church on Sundays and we come home and we forget about God. That's that's not going to get you, folks. Well, you want to be ready. Rosh Hashanah is coming up and um, the end of this month. And any Rosh Hashanah uh, should be celebrated as a possibility of Jesus Christ is coming back. But this Rosh Hashanah has weight. Uh, the Bible says uh, <coughs> that a nation will be born in one day. Jesus talked about the fig trees in Matthew 24. It says, my learned parable of a fig tree. The fig tree in Matthew 24 represented uh, Israel. He says, when the fig tree began to produce its leaf, you know that summer is near. Uh, in 1948, Israel became a nation. Again, did I actually say that? <laughs> I repeated myself. But um, 70 years is found to be a generation size. And, and if you want to go to Psalms 90, Verse 10, it talks about three score and 10, which is 70 years. So from 1948, you count up 70 years, you get 2018. You go a little bit past that because it has to be the fall feast to uh, finish it off. So <coughs> it's a couple of months later 
uh, past that seventy years, but it, it's still close to seventy years. I mean, I mean, if I'm if I die at seven, if I die at fifty, or if I die at forty, forty two, I'm right now. If I die at forty two, I died at forty two. I didn't die at forty two in five months. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so um, the things that we see happening in the Middle East, there's things on the news all the time. Um, but there was um, well, there, there was uh, three signs on the days of Av, and the days of Av happened to be Israel's um, worst time in history, and it happens around our um, August dates, most of the time July August dates. And it happens to be the worst time in Israel's history. The, the two temples were destroyed. Um, Adolf Hitler gave the decree to destroy the Jews. Uh, and a lot of, uh, and, and, and let me finish what I've said. Uh, so there was eclipses on three years in a row, 2008, 2009, 2010, on the times of Av, the ninth of Av, which is just a one day event. So here's signs there. And uh, 2011 does not have a sign, but it does have common element, which was coming into our solar system, and it entered into the solar system the exact time of off. So August 9th might have been the time that, who knows that, um, unless we do research and nobody's telling us, NASA, nothing's telling us these things. Um, so... Uh, there were three signs in the sky, they call them tetrads, uh, in a row. Um, and then on the, two, on the 2011, there was no sign, but there was common element coming in. And then Luke 21, uh, 25, it talks about strange signs. There should be signs in the sun, moon, and the stars on earth, distress of nation. Um, and in Genesis chapter 1 through 3, <coughs> it talks about the sun. The stars were given for signs. The sun, the moon, and the stars were given for signs, not only for seasons, but for signs. Uh, signs for what? Signs for Jesus Christ uh, to come back. See, a lot of people look at this world as the world is what's supposed to come first. Is it the carriage or the horse or the horse and carriage? We know the horse comes first and then the carriage comes second. Well... When when you talk to family members about end times, they 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 tell you you can you gotta just keep living, you gotta keep you can you can I don't look at that supernatural and they don't believe it. I mean they'll tell you they believe it, but they really don't believe it. I mean even sometimes I catch myself I don't believe some Christians don't believe it who really believe it. It's kind of weird. I mean I, I mean I believe that Jesus is coming back and I believe it soon, but I get caught up like it as a like wow. I can't see it happening, but I can see it happening because he's my Lord, but I want it to happen. But I also would love to become mayor of a city or or um, get a nice house, you know, get a, get a decent house. I mean, we're, and do what everybody else is doing. It says occupy until I come, but I don't occupy and be stupid. I already done enough dumbly stuff in my life. I'm not going to be done with this one. Um, and the sad thing about this whole world is it's passing away. And the sad thing is a lot of people are, are, are have been judged to already. They passed away and they had no idea that there was a hell. You know, I kind of get off, veered off course, but let me finish up telling y'all. Um, the UN has a uh, meeting. Uh, are they going to start talking about the Palestinian state and trying to get the, uh, and the Palestinian state is going to try to get uh, a vote on the state and they got the votes um, and um, if they walk out of there on the 20th, 20, 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd with an agreement you can almost believe that this is probably going to be especially if it's like September 23rd it's probably going to be a couple more days before God just flat out take his people. Um, and here's what I believe. Um, I know I'm saying a lot, but here's what I believe about uh, how 
this last day scenario is going to work. And what I say is irrelevant to what, I mean, if you put everything together, you're going to figure out that you might just wait and see. But you need to go and work and, and, and you know, work to, you know what I mean, do what you're supposed to get the gospel out. Um, the things that are important in the kingdom is to seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And you got to be holy um, in seeking God. But uh, my scenario is, is no more important than yours, but I just believe this is going to happen. I believe that it's going to come a time where a lot of the people who believe that there is no, I'm a pre-trip person. I believe that there's a rapture, but the people who don't believe <coughs> there's a rapture are going to have a time. They're going to have a, I told you so time. And this might last a day or two. Okay, trust me, Facebook can get hot. YouTube can get hot with I told you so's, comments, nasty little comments. They can go by the thousands and millions. Oh, they're going to be there. The comments are going to be there. It's going to be a time where Obama goes in. It's not going to have a date on it. He's going to sign a peace deal. Somebody's going to sign a covenant, some type of peace deal that's not going to have a time on it. And everybody's going to say, see, this is it. This is it. And people are going to be researching, <laughs> trying to find out. What's the time on this thing? Was it five years? Was it seven years? Was it, And they're going to come to find out it's just an interim uh, peace deal. And it might not even be a peace deal. It might just be a UN vote. I don't know how. It might be a UN vote that comes out saying the Palestinian is a state. Then they go to war. And then they, the war stops. And then somebody comes in and finds a peace deal. And then five minutes later, the war starts again. I mean... We might be playing Simon Says. You ever seen a game or what's that game where you have cheers and, and they play the music and everybody's running while going around the chair and sit. You know, you got to sit and the music stop and you got to sit. Well, we might be playing that duck, duck, goose or whatever for the next 30 days if this is the time. If not, we're going to go another year. Uh, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves. We need to seek the kingdom of God. We need to read his word because... The war is going to be in this word. The war is going to be reading this word. Um, it's going to be a war trying to get to his word. And you say, well, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> right about now, the devil knows his time is short. He's, he, he hates the bride. He hates the bride of Christ. He hates the people of God, the true remnant. And sometimes maybe even the devil can't even tell who's the true remnant. Uh, and we never think about that, but I believe that sometimes the devil can't even tell who's a true Christian and who's not. And it's only God could tell. <clears throat> now, the person might know deep down inside. Um, and I believe that a lot of times what you're seeking is what you are. It's just like I tell myself, who you hanging out with is who you are. Most of the time, unless you dominate that hangout. Because I used to, when I was in the army, I used to be saved, born again. And I used to hang out uh, with people that were not saved, and uh, I would never let la I would never laugh at their jokes. They thought I was. They didn't like that. Oh, you don't think it's funny, Armstrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh at that joke. You know, I had my own little sense of humor, and I and I thought it was funny, but. But anyway, uh, Jesus is a big possibility that he may be coming back. Now, this comment, right quick, this comment, Ellen, it's supposed to be a comment headed this way. Um, and it's in our solar system now. And, it's, and there's a lot of disinformation on um, line about this comment, a lot of dis disinformation. And some people are saying right now, disintegrated and broken up. I got some people that I I, I, I kind of lean on, and I got a few new guys that I kind of lean on that says it's, it's, it's still intact. Um, and a lot of that, the camera work that y'all saw was, <coughs> you see a large explosion, and then y'all say it's Jupiter. I don't know if I have a picture of that. I don't think I do have a picture. Uh, I wish I did. I'll have it on the next video. But you guys said that... Uh, that Jupiter has something to do with it. But if you look at the the module that you play with to see the trajectory of the uh, alanine and the planets, Jupiter is way over here, and alanine's here, and then the sun is here, and then the Earth is here, but Jupiter's way over here. And then they say Jupiter did it. How can Jupiter did it? If Jupiter would have sent out a flare that blew us up. 
So uh, some people say it's a lens flare. It's a lens problem uh, on the microscope. On the microscope, on the uh, telescope. I say microscope. Telescope lens. It's a it's a problem. It was a flare, and I I believe that NASA, somebody, some organization did it. Uh, somebody made they pay some outside source to do it. Um, and uh, let me get to let me explain to y'all what common element is. It's it was a uh, discovered by an amateur, the not uh, Elliman, I guess that's his name, and uh, he's a Russian man, uh, astronomer, and he discovered this object headed to this way, which I don't know for sure if he ever even did it or not. I think he's just um, happy that the thing is called off of his name. But anyway, um, it's headed towards us, and um, it's in our solar system now, and it's headed this way, and there's been some sightings of this thing. Um, it's been some sightings. Um, so it's been some sightings in Mexico and Australia and things like that. So it does exist. And some people are saying it's not a comet. It's actually a dwarf star. Um, now, this thing has not disintegrated. And if it's alive and it's true, then you have to say that Google Earth blotting out the information because you can go to Google Sky and look at it or you can go to the a certain depositories online and look at it and some of these organizations have blotted it out that space out I guess using Photoshop or something I don't know what they use but they blotted it out so we can't see it and then there's uh, blockouts it's, it's disinformation where it makes me lead to the fact that they're trying to make sure it's covered up so it won't be a panic um, in the future of this thing. Um, it won't be a panic. Um, and uh, when you look at the um, economy tied into this and you look at the wars, uh, and Damascus uh, may not make it out of this uh, September. I remember um, before the beginning of the year, I told my wife to watch Damascus. Uh, I told her it might not make it past September. And I had a dream on September 1st. So um, I know I said a lot on this video, but I just want y'all to be prepared. I'm nobody, I'm just a layman. I'm just, I don't even have a reverend or evangelist. Uh, if I was anything, I'd be evangelist. I guess you call me cyberspace evangelist. Um, I don't, I'm an apostle, I'm not a prophet, I'm just me. Uh, I don't claim to know more than the next guy. Um, I think I've kept a lot of stuff in that I should have released. Uh, but to, to gain credit and not bring glory to God, I scare myself sometimes. Uh, and I want to bring glory to myself rather than God. And that's not cool. Um... I, I want to bring so much glory to myself at, time, at times. It's hidden. It's deep. And we have to make sure that's covered. We have to make sure um, um, that is and brought out to the surface. And uh, if it's brought out to the surface, see how little I made myself? No, it's good. If it's brought out to the surface, then... We have to deal with that because God needs to get the glory, not us. We're not, when, if you look at this universe, when we see God's glory on the throne, and when we see God's face, when we sitting around, we were watching Jesus and admire, have you ever seen somebody that was famous and admired him? Wow. But imagine seeing God walking around the you know marriage supper of the lamb hugging people greeting people talking to people i'm gonna be looking like wow because he's gonna be walking around in a regular body but at that time then he can just go and sit on the throne and then transmute to his glory i mean i just think he's the coolest person i've ever thought of and heard of and i'm not saying it to hallelujah i'm just saying he's the coolest <laughs> Jesus is cool. If you, I mean, I tell my sons and stuff. I mean, you want to be cool, going around in class, thinking you cool, 
cool. You know, those NFL players, they cool enough to get good grades and, and work hard and hit the weight room and, and go to the NFL. That's cool. People still call you cool. So you can be cool walking around here with a dude rag on your head and a nice shirt, medallion, thinking you cool. You ain't cool. You need to, you need somebody needs to throw some ice water on you. That's what you need to be done. You ain't cool. Cool is when you see Jesus walking around in heaven. That's cool. And I'm I'm tired of trying to get all the glory. I'm trying to. I mean, it's hidden. You know, people on YouTube. We we want to be right, and I don't care. I mean, I'm not gonna come out and give y'all false information. This video went pretty long, but I'm not gonna come out and give y'all false information. Um, that's why I don't do videos that much. I, I want to just talk. And uh, some of my videos are terrible because I just talk and talk and talk. But right now, I'm gonna end this one. <laughs> but uh, God bless y'all. Uh, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll be coming out with lots of videos between here and the end of the month. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,